on Solution Suite, empowering your remote teams to work securely from wherever they are, keeping your mission critical data safe every step of the way. NSA CSFC compliant, quickly deployed, factory ready at enterprise scale. Visit IDTech.com, brought to you by ID Technologies, a CACI company, along with Dell Technologies. Innovation fueled by experience. From the electricity in the arena to the highlight real plays, there's nothing quite like college basketball. And this season, you can be there live to cheer them on. As the official marketplace of the NBA, Ticketmaster has you covered with the largest selection of seats for any budget. Get off the couch and into the stands. Grab your tickets now at Ticketmaster.com slash Wizards. Good to have you on board on this uh, Monday night. It's Wizards preseason basketball on the app or online or however you're finding us on the Team 980. 61-58, Wizards on top of the uh, Charlotte Hornets. Tail of two quarters, uh, Wizards... At the 36-23 advantage in that first quarter of play. But in the uh, second quarter, it was the Hornets with the advantage. Overall, the Wizards shooting 45%, 7 of 18 beyond the arc. 12, they started off smoking beyond the arc. They were like 6 of 7 at one point. 12 of 15 from the free throw line. 20 points for Kristaps Porzingis, uh, but just three rebounds. Also note, 8 points for Kyle Kuzman, 8 for Rui Hachimura. The Wizards only have 5 turnovers. But they're getting really beaten on the boards. This yeah. is a concern. 25-13 uh, advantage. Eight offensive rebounds uh, in that 25 for the Charlotte Hornets. Hornets you, can't, you can't give up 35 points no. in a second. Yeah, that's the big one. You can't give too many points. Hornets, 35 points in the second quarter. 47% shooting. Three of 10 beyond the arc. 13 of 14 for the free throw line. Terry Rozier leads the Hornets with 20. Back on the second half in a moment on the Washington Wizards Radio Network. At Lados. We put technology to work on the front lines. Whether we're helping the military stand up a new application or creating efficiencies in our nation's infrastructure, our technology-driven solutions are helping to make the world safer, healthier, and more efficient. It's important work, and it never stops, because failure is not an option. Visit us at leidos.com. Do you have an air conditioning emergency? If so, you need HVAC 911. Call 301-939-0499 or visit HVAC911.com backslash EC. For service 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The most skilled and experienced HVAC technicians in the DMV are only call away. 301-939-0499 or visit HVAC911.com backslash EC. For service 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Brought to you by Steam Fair's Local 602. Giant is hiring right now. Full and part-time positions are available at a store near you. Giant has also increased their starting pay rate for many positions with additional compensation based on experience. They're looking for store and warehouse associates for all shifts at all levels. Plus, Giant delivers associates and CDL drivers. Pick up extra hours every week or start a new rewarding career at Giant. Opportunities are available across the company. Apply online at giantfood.com back slash careers. Burke's Foods, the official hot dog of your Washington Wizards, has been making premium quality Frank's sausages and deli specialties for over 88 years. Burke's hot dogs feature nothing but the finest ingredients. 100% premium cuts of beef and pork, the perfect blend of seasoning and spices, and absolutely no fillers. When you eat a Burke's dog, you're eating the best. Burke's Foods is proud to be the official hot dog of the Washington Wizards. Find us at giant food stores. Visit us at burksfoods.com. Burke's Foods the best in the business. The last thing you need to deal with in your home, uninvited pests. Call Pest Management Services Incorporated, the official pest control company of Capital One Arena. This family-owned and operated company is always defending stadiums, arenas, and homes from pests that include spiders, ants, mosquitoes, bedbugs, termites, rodents, mold, and our COVID disinfectant spray. While the wizards cover the spread, let us stop pests dead. Call us today at 703-723-2899 or for a free inspection, go to mypmsi.com. Dave Johnson back with Rick Consor as we get set for the second half. Christoph Porzingis will not be part of it. Hopefully it's not a big concern, but he's out for the second half with a left ankle sprain. That's all we know. We don't know the severity of that left ankle sprain. So Porzingis is out. Did that Pernell hockey fan check it in? He points out, like we talked about, loves what Monte Morris is doing. Really yes. has 
taking control of this team of point guard. LaMelo Ball scoots up court into the right corner. Hornets work it right to left. Now from Terry Rozier, who had 20 in the first half. Rozier probes to the foul line. Time of the arc, McDaniels. McDaniels drives, underhand, flips up a shot, and scores. The ball goes over the outstretched arm of Daniel Gafford. And the Hornets within one, 61-60. Got to clog up that middle earlier. Monte Weak Morris, side defense. Part of the circle. Kuzma, right elbow, going to the basket, bank and score. As Kuzma slices down the right side, makes it 63-60. 11-24 to go here in the sec- third quarter. Lamelo Ball driving down to the baseline, cut off by Morris and Gill. On the right wing, hands off to Nick Richards, who gives back the ball. Foul line. The left wing, Jalen McDaniels for three. That's no good. Rebound belongs to Kyle Kuzma. 63-60, Wizards. Kuzma, hash mark on the left wing, guarded by JT Thor. Kuzma, baseline left. Now throws all the way out front, Will Barton. And ball fake, feeds down low to Gill, but broken up by Nick Richards. 63-60, Wizards. In transition, driving, going to the basket, no end one. But a good, strong drive by Jalen McDaniels, who's suddenly become very active for the Charlotte Hornets. Daniel Gafford gets called for the foul. 10.50 to go in the third quarter of play. That's unfortunate about KP, who was having a terrific game. 20 points. He had 20 in the first half. Yep, and you know, you just hope that well, left ankle sprain or an ankle sprain, we, we just don't know. Uh, yeah. It does not have to be several weeks like Corey no. Kispert, but we just don't know. No, but, yeah. you know, you, you just hope that he, you know, you, you want him playing minimum 65 60, games. Right. Yeah. 63, 62. Free throws. One of two free throws made. Right wing outside the arc. The Barton left of the circle. Morris now out on the left wing. Left at the top of the game. Daniel Gavard is back to Richards. One dribble. Needs help. Gives on the left wing with five on the clock. The Moore steps beyond the arc for three. An open three, but it nicks off the front of the rim. LaMelo Ball crosses right of the center circle. LaMelo Ball rocking the cradle back and forth. Top of the arc, McDaniels head down, drives down the right block, trying to dump underneath the Richards. And well defended by both Kuzma and Gafford, who draped themselves around Nick Richards. And that was good rotation, too. When he, when he looked to pass it, Wizards did a good job stepping in the passing lanes as a team. Baseline left, Jalen McDaniels out front to Nick Richards. We're going to right to left, the Hornets, J.T. Thor, top of the arc. Foul line, Euro step into the paint, bank, and score. Thor came down the left side, and the Hornets now, they've been knocking on the door, and yep. finally they have the lead again, 64-63. First lead since the first quarter, early. Kuzma right in the center circle. The Gafford, top of the arc, hands off the Kuzma, going downhill. Oh, the slam! Ooh. Right in! Kuzma cocks it back and throws it down. The Wizards by one, 65-64. There was some anger in that one. Rozier into the circle. Cuts to his right. Into the right corner, J.T. Thor for three. Wow. Drains it. J.T. Thor makes it 67-65 in favor of the Hornets. 9.33 to go in the third quarter. Right of the center circle now, Monte Morris off a Gafford screen. Morris dribbles to his left, stops the dribble to Gafford, top of the key, guarded by Nick Richards. Gafford, right wing outside the arc, Morris for three, oh, it wedges in between the rim and the backboard. Yeah. So, jump ball. As we come to the center circle, and have a jump ball. 67-65 Hornets, they now have the lead here in the third quarter. Richards to jump against Gafford. Richards wins the tip, comes to LaMelo Ball. Ball now, center circle. Cuts to his right. LaMelo floats up Richards. Hang on! Slam! Two hands! Oh. 69-65. Hornets up by four. That was a punch in the gut slam. Yes, it was. Set up beautifully with all the attention that Ball gets when he puts it on the deck. Two guys on him. He found the open man rolling. Got to make that adjustment. Hey, Sharman, good to have you on board from Landover tonight at Dave J Sports at Glen Council. We roll on together on this Monday. Uh, the Hornets now suddenly with the advantage, 69-65 on the Wizards. On the Washington Wizards Radio Network. Wizards fans, let the bets begin with the greatest sportsbook of all time, Caesars Sportsbook. 
Download the app today, register, deposit, and bet on your Wizards or whoever else you like right from the palm of your hand. Or get your bets down at the Sportsbook at Capital One Arena. Must be 18 or older to gamble in D.C., 21 or older in Virginia. Gambling problem? D.C., call 1-800-522-4700. Virginia, call, text, or chat 1-888-532-3500. Caesars Sportsbook, the official sports betting partner of the Washington Wizards. Your app is ready, Emperor. Firefly Cellars, a new boutique winery located in the heart of Loudoun County's wine country, is your new go-to weekend destination from the city. This family-owned and operated tasting room, event space, and Airbnb is the perfect escape from busy life. Serving wines made in the beautiful Shenandoah Valley, Firefly has a selection that will meet the needs of all wine lovers. Can't get there this weekend? No problem. Firefly wines are available in the Capital One Arena Suites. Visit FireflyCellars.com for more information. Plumley gets into the strict dog. Turnaround jump hook attempt is blocked. Porzingis part of that block. Hill now in transition. DeBart no look pass. though. cutting Gill to the basket. Bank and score. Oh, yes. No look pass. To Anthony Gill, 7 4. Wizards on top. 10 11 to go here. First quarter of play. Continues to impress Anthony Gill, huh? Running the floor, finishing. That is our hard time protect the rim. Play of the game. Brought by ID Technologies, a CACI company, Archon. It's a secure mobile IT system that enables your teams to work securely from wherever they are, keeping your mission critical data secure every step of the way. Stay ahead of your adversaries and keep your mission rolling. Visit ArconSecure.com to learn more. Dave Johnson, Glenn Contra, back at Spectrum Center in Charlotte. We remind you, the Wizards' next home game will be coming up on Wednesday, October 14th, the New York Knicks come to town. We hope you are there too to be a part of it. Is that an away game? That nickname? I think it's an away game. Well, I'm just reading what the script says. Oh. That's what I thought. Well, I don't know what that, that is. For, that's Wednesday, October 14th. That's not right. What is today? <laughs> well, that's not the Wizards' next home game. Oh, right. See what happens when they get to run. Look at the script. No, I know. I mean, that's why I'm, you know, I'm making right. sure you tell them our, our guys the right and girls the right things. All right. Well, well we're going to have to correct that. Yeah. Not your fault. No, it's never my fault. No. Will Barton left wing outside the arc. Cuts to his right. Right elbow gliding to the basket. Hangs in the air. Good defense by Nick Richards. Didn't block it, but Barton couldn't get the shot off. Left wing goes here. 69-65 Hornets. Down low Richards. Top of the restricted arc. And he flips it up. No. Kyle Kuzma was defending him, but Richards should have made that shot. Kuzma, right at the top of the key, hands off to Monte Morris. Swing in the left corner, Anthony Gill. Back on the left wing outside the arc, Barton to Monte Morris, right of the center circle, 8 on the clock. Right at the top of the key, Gafford, now more on the right wing, hands off to Kuzma. Kuzma gets in the paint, runner off one foot, no. Handle for the rebound, and Nick Richards collects it. 69-65, Hornets, 8-17 to go, third quarter of late. Time of the arc, Richards. Back for LaMelo Ball. He drives as he does, and he is in some discomfort. Did he step on Anthony Gill's foot? As he goes down, and he's in pain, he is yeah. fouled. He was about to pass it on the wing. Gill will get called for the foul. This is a preseason. Every coach is, yeah. you got to play players, but then you're like, all right, let's get out of this healthy. You want to get out of it healthy, and you also want to make sure that your players get healthy. And uh, the ones that have been injured, in this case now, it's Porzingis, and Can for the Wizards, and it's Kispert, Denny. And Kristaps Porzingis, 20 points in the first half, but suffered an ankle sprain. Lamella Ball. He's staying in. He's yeah, all right. He's staying in. Although he's having trouble putting weight. Oh, he's going he's gonna to shoot the free throws, yeah. and they're going to take him out. I think it's his left leg or left ankle. He's having trouble putting foot up, weight on it. Makes the free throw. 70-65, the score. Johnny Davis replaces Anthony Gill. He's starting to walk a little bit better as he walked back to the top of the key to get away from the free throw line. Now, a mellow ball, another one coming. Got it. All right, 71-65, Hornets. Certainly, LaMelo Ball has nine points, but only two of ten from the field. As the Wizards look to bring the ball up. Court, Terry Rozier gets called for the foul. 
So, Rozier gets called for the foul. I think they committed the foul so they could get yeah. the mellow ball out of there. And he's going right to the locker room. Yeah, Dennis Smith Jr. comes in. So Rozier commits a foul so they can get LaMelo Ball out. Right wing outside the arc, Barton hands off to Monte Morris. He trying to come off a Gafford screen and Daniel Gafford illegal screen. All right. Great first quarter for the Wizards, but tough sledding right now. 71-65, Hornets 7.57 to go, third quarter. All right, Hornets ball. Into the center circle, driving as Dennis Smith throws back out front. Rozier ball fake, top of the key foul line. He floats it up and one bounces high off the rim. Score the bucket. He ends up on the deck. Gafford ends up on the deck as he jumped up to block it. Boy, Terry Rozier. Yeah. Gafford gets called for the foul. And Boy, a high arcing shot that went up the back of the iron and in. 73 65 Hornets. So this uh, game is going in the different direction. Trying to make it a three point play. Misses. 73 65 the score. Right of the center circle now. Morris cuts to his left. Got it by Dennis Smith. Bounce pass to Will Barton in the center circle off a of Gabbard screen. Bart, right elbow, spins, denied, shovels down to Gafford, right of the restricted yard, bank, and score. Tough shot by Gafford as he was defended by Nick Richards, 73-67. Hornets, Dennis Smith on the right wing, down to the baseline right. Uh, pardon me, that's Rozier. Rozier, guarded by Johnny Davis. Rozier off the screen, gets right of the top. He rises, shoots, got it. And Stephanie Terry Rozier, 75-67. Hornets, seven minutes to go, third quarter. Have yourself a night, Terry Rozier. He's got 24. Yeah, boy, is he. He's one of the more underrated guards you don't hear enough about. Kyle Kuzma, hash mark left wing, right wing, Morris. Back left wing, Kuzma, ball fakes, spins, and oh, banks a three that almost goes in, but he got J.T. Thor to land on him. Fourth on Thor. Second team foul. And it will be side out. So, side out for the Wizards with 6.46 to go in the third quarter. Left sideline, Will Barton inbound the ball. Barton out front to Morris. Morris off a Gafford screen, right elbow. Spins at the elbow, shoots, that's no good. And rebound collected by Rozier. Rozier right of the circle. Right wing now. Jalen McDaniels. McDaniels throws back out front, Rozier. Right of the circle, floor spreads. Rozier, got by Barton, cuts to his left, stop start, a little hesitation, underhand scoop shot, no. Battle for the rebound, and coming out with Will Barton. A little hezzy move by Rozier, effective, didn't score though. Barton for three, it's there. Needed that. 75-70. Will Barton for three, pulls the Wizards within five, 6.03 to go, third quarter of play. Dennis Smith gives to his right to Rozier at the Spectrum Center logo on the right side. Guarded by the rookie, Johnny Davis. Comes off a Richards screen, illegal. And that's going to be, I think, the fifth on Nick Richards. Yeah, that's good defense by Davis as he tried to fight over the screen. Wes Unsell, that the shoot-around today was emphasizing go over screens. Davis did and ran into one that just happened to be moving. James Booknight comes back in for the Charlotte Hornets to replace Terry Rozier. Well, that's one way to keep Rozier from scoring. He's not in the game. Morris hands off to Kuzma. Kuzma on the right wing to Barton for three, and this time misses after making one from the left wing. Jalen McDaniels. The rebounder comes up court. McDaniels off a Richard screen. Ball fake. Hangs in the air. Blocked from behind by Johnny Davis. Yep. Out of play. It'll be Hornets ball with 16 seconds on the shot clock. As McDaniels found himself in a sea of red with Davis behind him blocking the shot. Now for the Richards, right elbow, he glides into the paint, running jump hook, no. And Kuzma the rebound, 75-70 Hornets. Kuzma in the center circle, cuts to his right of a Gabbard screen. Right wing Monte Morris. Morris, edge of the center circle as he pulls it back. Ten second shot clock, Morris. Left the top, he foul on Gafford, jumper is in and out. Rebound, Dennis Smith Jr., 75-70 Hornets. Dennis Smith Jr., hash mark on the right wing. 
Comes up a Richard screen. Down low right block. Backs in. Turns 10 foot in lane. Good. Good by Dennis Smith. 77-70 Hornets. 4.58 to go in the third quarter. Crossing midcourt. Left the circle. Morris top of the arc. Kuzma turns. Shoots a three. It's there. Oh, assassin like. Kuzma just turns and shoots. 77-73 Hornets. One thing outside the arc, James Booknight for the Hornets. Booknight drives, gets in the paint, flips to the shot, right hand, no follow slam. Yeah. Yes! With a capital Y, Nick Richards, 79 73, Hornets, 428 to go, third quarter. Left the circle now, Morris. Top of the arc, Barton, coming off a Gafford screen, edges in the paint, shovels under the basket, Gafford slam! Two ends! Turn about fair play, 79 75, Richards within four. 4-12 to go, third quarter. Left wing outside the arc, Dennis Smith Jr. Stop, start, drives on Davis, feeds only Richards the basket. No end one, but he's fouled by Daniel Gafford. It just didn't rotate quick enough. Gafford sometimes relies a lot on his athleticism to you know, come in, step in, block shots, but sometimes you can't, and you got to get there with your body first. And there he was a step late. 4.03 to go in the fourth quarter. So Richards, in the third quarter, pardon me, Richards to shoot a couple of free throws. All right, let's clear this up. Our Richards upcoming home game is presented by Ticketmaster. Back in Capital One Arena for the home opener. It's October 21st against Chicago. And we want you there. Get tickets out at Ticketmaster.com slash Wizards. It's Ticketmaster.com slash Wizards. And that is a Friday night, right? Oh, 21st, yes. Stands to reason if this Friday is the 14th. Boy, that Japan trip just threw me off. Second free throw good, 81-75. Hornets, four minutes ago, third quarter. DeLon Wright is in the game right in the circle. DeLon Wright now right wing outside the arc. Rui Hachimura. Rui now gives right to Lane Kuzner. Kuzner drives top of the strict arc. Feeds under the basket. Cutting, banking, scoring. Johnny Davis, a reverse layup. What a feed by Kuzma. Oh, yeah. 81-77 to score. Now driving, getting the paint. Buck Knight, eight-footer, good. Buck Knight allowed to get deep in the paint. 83-77 Hornets, 3.33 to go. Third quarter. Right up the circle, Kuzma. Kuzma, top of the key. Swing it into the left corner. Rui will drive. Drives into a double team. Back on the left wing, DeLon right. Seven seconds, shot clock. Hachimura turns, shoots a 16-footer in and out. Wright almost had the rebound, but it belongs to the Charlotte Hornets with 3.12 to go here in the third quarter. Driving McDaniels out front, Dennis Smith Jr. bobbles the ball for a moment on the dribble out front with nine seconds shot clock. Dennis Smith gets in the lane, his runner no. Going up to the foul, Sam Nick Richards, no. 83-77 Hornets, Kuzma now downhill, spins on Buck Knight left. Block now gets in the right corner. Hachimura, right wing Davis, left elbow. Hachimura jumper, good. Great ball movement. Wizards within four, 83 79, and a timeout is called by the Charlotte Hornets. You're going to see a lot of, uh, especially as we morph into the fourth quarter. Vernon Carey Jr. hit a nice little fadeaway there, and um, you're going to see a lot of guys now playing in the fourth that just didn't have a lot of opportunities. That's back. what the preseason is about. Back in a moment, the Hornets by four on the Washington Wizards Radio Network. With one of the best savings rates in America, banking with Capital One is the easiest decision in the history of decisions. Even easier than choosing Slash to be in your band. Next up for lead guitar. You're in. Cool. <laughs> yep, even easier than that. And with no fees or minimums on checking and savings accounts, is it even a decision? That's banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com slash bank for details. Capital One and a member FDIC. With our newest unlimited plan, everyone's welcome. Introducing Welcome Unlimited from Verizon for just $30 a line per month for four lines with auto pay plus taxes and fees. Our best priced unlimited plan ever. Did he say $30? Yep, $30 a line for the whole family. The network you want, the price you love. Switch to Verizon today. Paper free billing required. Unlimited 5G nationwide 4G LTE. In times of congestion, your data may be temporarily slower than other traffic. All smartphone lines on the account must be on Welcome Unlimited and are eligible only for select promotions. Includes domestic talk, text, and data usage only. Data roaming at 2G speeds.
Hey, Johnson Quick Council, we are back at Spectrum Center in Charlotte, North Carolina. Keep checking if you like as we cruise through this Monday night. At Dave J Sports at Glenn Consort, use that hashtag Radio Party as the Wizards lead, the, rather trail the Hornets 83 or 79 with 2.42 to go in the third. Now, Christoph Sporzigas had 20 points in the first half, but suffered a left ankle sprain. Not seeing him now uh, anymore in the game. LaMelo Ball, we understand, an ankle sprain, so he finishes night with nine points. And Mason Plumley, ankle sprain. Ankle sprain as well, so. Uh, there are some ankle sprains from both teams here in Charlotte. Terry Rozier has led the way for the Hornets with 24. The Wizards have been out-rebounded badly. 24-16, the advantage on the boards uh, for the Charlotte Hornets, including... A lot of ankle sprains, huh? Oh, pardon me, uh, 35-16. Oh, it's even worse than I said. 11 of them offensive rebounds belonging to the Charlotte Hornets. And Nick Richards has put together a nice game off the bench for the Hornets with 15 points. All right. Positives, negatives, your overall thoughts on this well, preseason game number three. You know, I, I think, you know, we're seeing some great play from guys like Kuzma and Monte Morris. Um, you know, I think Wes has so much talent here. He's got to find the right combinations, and that's what he's searching for. This is a great opportunity for guys like Vernon Carey, who's now in the game. Goodwin getting ready to go back in the game. Dennis Smith Jr. drives. Left to restrict arc. Wiggles in to restrict arc. Back up front. JT Thor for three. No. And the rebound is brought in by Kyle Kuzma. 83-79 the score. Kuzma left the circle. Better by Bryce McGowan. Spins. A couple head fakes, but too much spin, too much fake, and a travel violation. So Jordan Goodwin will come in. Replace Johnny Davis. So you have Vernon Carey Jr., Davis, much more Goodwin, and DeLon Wright out there for the Washington Wizards. Hornets lead by four with 2.10 to go. Third quarter. Dennis Smith Jr., right elbow, feeds left wing outside the arc of Gallons. Ball fake, steps to the logo left lane, no good. Had a three by Mark Williams, had it for a moment, but lost it. And getting a Jordan Goodwin. Goodwin, center circle, gets to the top of the key, right wing, DeLon Wright. A minute 50 left, third quarter. Right, right of the circle, guarded by McGowan's. Cuts through his right off a carry screen. Hands off Kuzma for three. It's no good. Rebound. Rui Achimori has put back. No, a block, but a foul. Oh, pardon me, it's a carry. So JT Orr gets called for the foul. That's the first and last two minutes against the Hornets, and it'll put Vernon Curry Jr. at the free throw line. Misses the free throw. Stays a four-point game. 83-79 in favor of the Hornets. Another one coming for Vernon Carey Jr. That's in and out. Rebound. Rookie Mark Williams. A minute 37 left. Dennis Smith Jr. into the right corner. Who's not shadowing him? Smith. Throw it out front. It's broken up and stolen by Jordan Goodwin. Right out to the basket. Flips on the shot and scores as he crashes into the stanchion Jordan, under the basket. Good win the steal and the score. 83-81. Now the Wizards within two. I like his tenacity on defense, Goodwin. Those guys are hungry, man. Those go-go guys. Foul on Book Knight. His runners off the rim. Battle for the rebound. Book Knight. Second effort. Gets it to go. He tips it in. Book Knight stayed with the play after his missed shot. 85-81 Hornets. Final minute to go. Third quarter. DeLon Wright left the center circle. Cuts his right off a carry screen. Edges in the paint. Just outside of the trick. A couple of pump fakes now. Sandwiched and falls to the floor. We have a scrum. And it's going to be Wizards ball, I think. Last touched by Book Knight on the baseline. That's what the call is here. Wizards getting out rebounded this game. 37-22. to 22. Yep. A lot of those rebounds led to paint points as well. All right. Six seconds for the shot clock. Wizards ball baseline right. DeLon Wright looking to inbound it. Bounce pass left to the effect guard. Vernon Carey spins left block. Shoots over Mark Williams. No. And JT Thor gets the rebound. 37 seconds on third quarter. Dennis Smith comes up court driving, banking, and scoring. Too easy. 
as he got all the way to the left side, 87-81. 31 seconds left, Hornets lead. And left the circle, Rui Hachimura poked at by J.T. Thor. Hachimura off of Vernon Carey's screen. Back on front, DeLon Wright. Difference between the shot clock, about eight seconds. Down to eight seconds on the shot clock. DeLon Wright, right elbow. To the right block, banks, and comes on the side of the backboard, getting the rebound. McGowan's in transition, seven seconds. McGowan's on the screen, throws in the right corner, Thor. Ball fake, he drives, flips up a shot, no. Well, we've got a foul. With 1.4 seconds in the third quarter, Wizards commit a foul. Rui Achimar gets called for the foul. And JT Thor will go to line to shoot two, try to extend the Hornets' lead. Closing seconds of quarter number three. Thor off the rim and in. Well, that's really, as you just mentioned, the rebounding stat. That allowed the Hornets yeah. to get back in this game. They yeah. were down by 16. Points in the paint really have hurt the Wizards here. But, look, we got a whole fourth quarter. We're going to see a lot of new players. Inbound. Kuzma beyond midcourt. That's no good. All right. It's an eight-point game. What, what are we going to have in the fourth quarter? Your thoughts at Big J Sports at Glenn Council. We roll on together on a Monday night. The Hornets 89, Wizards 81. You're listening to the Washington Wizards Radio Network. The name is Visionary Technology Consultants, value-driven information technology services. VTC will deliver inventive technology solutions at a reasonable cost. VTC's approach to enable and deliver customer success is straightforward and very effective. Why not find out more at vtccorp.com? VTC, in partnership with Dell Technologies, helping agencies Meet the challenge of the constantly evolving IT landscape during these difficult times. At CDW, we get your employees need their data to go where they go. That's why we started tattooing company data right on them. Ow. Now they have permanent access. Ouch. Well, at CDW, we can transform your data center painlessly, on-prem and in the cloud, with a Dell technology solution so your data isn't just available, it's powerful. Phew. I was about to get these Q4 financials tattooed on my neck. Close call. For technology that moves you forward, trust Dell Technologies and IT orchestration by CDW. People who get it. Learn more at cdw.com slash Dell Tech. As our country recovers from the pandemic and as air traffic continues to come back, aviation is a vital economic engine. You can depend on the National Air Traffic Controllers Association and its 20,000 aviation safety professionals who work hard 24-7, 365, safely moving passengers, crew, and vital cargo. The members of the National Air Traffic Controllers Association, NATCA, guide you home safely. Visit them at natca.org. That's natca.org. Here we go, fourth quarter. Wizards uh, down by eight. That 16-point lead they had <laughs> seems like a lifetime ago. They trail the Hornets 89-81 as we go to the fourth quarter of preseason game number three. Remember, last preseason game is this Friday in New York. We'll be with you uh, for that one as well. With you the whole way this journey of the 2022-2023 season. The big stat. The circle and red pen is out rebounded right now. The Wizards 39-22. No Kristaps Porzingis the rest of the way. Ankle sprain. No Lamelo Ball or Mason Plumley also with ankle sprains. And we'll see how both Steve Clifford and Wes Unsell yeah. Jr. use this fourth quarter. Now Delon Wright will bring the ball up court for the Wizards. Yeah. Chamar in there, good one. Gafford. Johnny Davis is back in. Good one. The Davis edge of the circle. Tested by James Booknight. Davis drives. The right elbow denied. Back up front. Good one. Left wing. DeLon right. Six seconds. Shot clock out front. Hachimura. Hachimura. Jump step to the left block. Flips up a shot. Banks and scores. With the shot clock winding down. 89-83. Hornets. 11-29 to go. Here in the fourth quarter. Just getting going in the final frame. Dennis Smith. Left wing. Hands off to Booknight. Foul on Mark Williams. Back to Jalen McDaniels. Hash mark right wing. He drives right block to the basket. Bank and score. No McDaniels scores a layup on Daniel Gafford. 91-83 Hornets. Left wing Johnny Davis. Ball fake. 
Drives on Book Knight, spins left block, shoots, misses. Gafford climbs, gets rebound, feeds the gun. Oh, has Right hand. And felt that in Japan. 91-85. 10.55 to go in the fourth for the right elbow. Missing a jumper. Jalen McDaniels in transition. Hachimura. Hachimura, right elbow. Backing in. Dribbling with the left hand. Shovels in the left corner. Goodwin for three. Misses an open three. Real opportunity there. 91-85 yeah. Hornets. Left wing outside the arc. Dennis Smith Jr. Cuts to his left off of Mark Williams' screen. Feeds now cutting Book Knight. Broken up by DeLon Wright and then it went off Book Knight. That's just real good handsy defense on the part of the Wizards. Well, you got really no starters out there for either team. So you got a lot of the uh, you know the, the second tier players that or bench players. Hunger, that, a lot of hunger. A lot of hunger, a lot of desire. A lot of, let me show you what I can do. DeLon Wright, hash mark left wing, top of the arc. Daniel Gafford, 12 on the clock. Bounce pass down low, Hachimura. Hachimura backing in, right block, backing in. Turns, shoots, that's short. Gafford the rebound, flips up the shot and scores. He turned, I thought maybe he'd fly in and dunk it. But gently got it to the basket. Now Book Knight, left block. The Wizards down by 4, 91-87. Book Knight back into the left corner. And left wing outside the arc. Jordan Goodwin all over him. 12-second shot clock. He's back out front. Nice for Gallons. Gallons cuts her left. Foul line driving, banking and scoring and one. Bryce McGowan was able to slot him through the lane and score. 93-87. Again, no resistance coming through the paint as Daniel Gafford gets called for the foul. Got to clog that paint up. And, you know, Gafford seems to lay back a little too much for the block shot. But, again, you got to get in there and cut off that angle with your body first. McGowan's makes the free throw. I, the Wizards were a chance to really close the gap, and now they fall behind by seven again. 94 87, 9 37 to go, fourth quarter. The long right edge of the circle. Near the hash mark on the left wing. Jordan Goodwin cuts to his right. Right wing outside the arc, right for three. Oh, it's there! It's there! Wizards within four, 94 90, 9 20 to go, fourth quarter. It's a ninth three pointer made by the Wizards. Book Knight off a screen, foul line, going to the basket, bank and score as he yeah. lay up again on Daniel Gafford. 96-90 Hornets. DeLon Wright, ball faked and shoots a three, that's no good. Jalen McDaniels gets a rebound. Interior defense has not been good for the no. Wizards. Edge of the circle, McGowan's. Hornets working right to left to Mark Williams, back to McGowan's. McGowan's on the Mark Williams screen for three, that's no good. 8.48 to go, fourth quarter. It comes off the rim and goes out of play. You mentioned interior defense. Wizards have given up 52 points in the paint. Too many. 52 of the 96 <laughs> have been paint points. We have Roller Streets uh, on board. Also, Adam is uh, with us. Adam yeah. is a uh, three-hour long organic chemistry huh. lab. Wow. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say I don't think I would have done well in that no, I, Hachimura drives. Jump stop left to strict guard. Bank and score. No, bank and miss. But Gafford is able to clean it up. 96-92. Daniel Gafford with the foul. The Wizards within four. 8.25 to go. Fourth quarter. Tom the arc. Book night. A couple jab steps. We're going to break down Goodwin, and Jordan Goodwin will get called for the foul on the wing. 96-92 Hornets. From side out. I think that'll be the second team foul on the Wizards. Second on Goodwin. Now on the front edge of the circle, J.T. Thor. Probing Dennis Smith drives, hangs in the figure, and misses. Battle for the rebound, a real scrum under the basket, and we've got a jump ball. Ty Jones is in there for the Hornets, as he got in the mix. 96-92 to the score. Yup, good to have you on board on this Monday night. Not too late to check in. The Wizards trying to get their first preseason win. Not that any of you remembers preseason records. It'll be Gafford and Jones, the jump center, the foul line, the Hornets offensive end. 
Referee's doing the choreography to get everything set. Ball in the air. Jones wins it, but it goes right to Quinn Jackson just in for the Wizards. In transition, good one. Left block, bank, and score. 96-94. Wizards within two. 7.57 to go in the fourth quarter. Dennis Smith. Nice mark on the right wing. Run by Jackson. Smith. Right elbow. Top of the oh, has passed, deflected, and intercepted. My good win. But good one. Losing the dribble. Scooping up the loose ball. Jackson. A bit chaotic, but somehow the Wizards maintain possession. DeLon Wright left the circle. Got by Bryce McGowans. Gafford sets the screen. Right in the left corner. Intended for Jackson. And not a good pass. 96-94. The Wizards are right there. 7.30 yep. to go. They're down by two points. We're just tuning in from an organic chemistry exam or something else. Uh, again, the Wizards got off to a blazing start, a 16-point lead early, but then have trouble with giving up pain points and rebounds. Second delay of game given to the Hornets, so it's a technical. Rui Hachimura to shoot the technical. Got it. All right, it's a one-point game, 96-95. And again, they're, they're starting to, to go. Jalen Crutcher comes in for the Hornets. As Glenn mentioned, we're going to see different players in. Quentin Jackson's Quentin in there. Jackson's right in, yep. He's a rookie from Texas A&M, 6'5". Crutcher guarded by Jackson in the center circle. So different names to listen for here in the fourth quarter. Right of the center circle. You can't miss Kai Jones. Yeah, I think he's got teal hair. Yeah. I assume it's died. Kai Jones in the restricted back left corner. JT Thor oh, got it at the shot clock buzzer. You heard it, and he scored it. 99-95. Hornets. Right wing outside the arc. DeLon Wright drives, gets a foul line back up front. Jackson. Jackson ran into DeLon Wright at the foul line. Gives the ball back to Hachimura. Hachimura, top of the key. He goes to drive, and an offensive foul on Rui Hachimura. Rui Ajumar, the offensive foul, is taking the charge. Bryce McGowans. 6.45 to go in the fourth quarter. We've got a timeout. we got a heck of a game going here, yes, though. Yes, we do. 99-95, Hornets on top of the Wizards. Appreciate you finding us on a Monday night. Back in a moment on the Washington Wizards Radio Network. Giant is hiring right now. Full and part-time positions are available in a store near you. Giant has also increased their starting pay rate for many positions with additional compensation based on experience. They're looking for store and warehouse associates for all shifts at all levels. Plus, Giant delivers associates and CDL drivers. Pick up extra hours every week or start a new rewarding career at Giant. Opportunities are available across the company. Apply online at giantfood.com backslash careers. Wizards fans. Let the bets begin with the greatest sportsbook of all time, Caesars Sportsbook. Download the app today, register, deposit, and bet on your Wizards or whoever else you like right from the palm of your hand. Or get your bets down at the sportsbook at Capital One Arena. Must be 18 or older to gamble in D.C., 21 or older in Virginia. Gambling problem? D.C., call 1-800-522-4700. Virginia, call, text, or chat 1-888-532-3500. Caesars Sportsbook, the official sports betting partner of the Washington Wizards. Your app is ready, Emperor. Hey, gang, on the app, online, wherever you are in the world, maybe even Australia. We appreciate it. We're back in a moment, though. We have to pause. We do have to do this. We pause 10 seconds. Station identification on the Washington Wizards Radio Network. WTEM Washington and WJFK HD2 Manassas. The Team 980 and Odyssey Station. Well, as Jeff just said it online, and, you, and you've been saying on uh, 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 one thing the Wizards have to do better is, is defending the paint. What's going on there? It does seem like the Hornets are getting too much joy yep. in the paint. Rotations are, are a step late. Um, you know, first of all, the onus has to be on the ball. So, you know, you can't let somebody just go by you. That's number one. We always forget about that. But two is the weak side's got to be there much earlier. And you can't just rely on the uh, the centers that you know the back line to help protect everybody's got to protect that paint and the rotations right now well step slow all right again guys like Quentin Jackson your thoughts on him is he get he's getting some blank time yeah you know he's this is really the first time we've seen, seen him, him yeah. so far so 
I don't really have an impression of him yet. I did see him in, in practice. I know he works hard. He's scrappy, good defensively. Kind of like to see what he can do on offense. He's in there with Jordan Good. When uh, you've got Daniel Gafford, Rui Achimura, and Delon Wright. Jalen Crutcher will come up for the Hornets. Book Knight edge of the circle. They work right to left through the Hornets and lead by four. Book Knight right elbow leans in his runner no good. Rebound tipped out by Kai Jones and comes to JT Thor. Thor wants a three, almost got it in and out. Gafford skies gets the rebound. Good box out on Kai Jones. All right, 6.19 to go, four point game. Left the circle, DeLon right, bounce past to Hachimura at the top of the arc. Back to DeLon right on the right wing, cross court in the left corner. Jackson swinging out the good one. Now, top of the arc, Hachimura for three, a little short. Loose ball, Jackson goes after it and comes up with it. That's pure hustle. Foul line, flips up, Gafford, hang on, slam. Gafford, the slam, Wizards with it two. Jackson made the play, now driving McGowan's. Again, right at Gafford, a layup on McGowan's 101 97. Hornets. Got to get aggressive defensively. Delon Wright driving, right elbow. We're going to shake McGowan's back to Hachimura, top of the arc. Hachimura, right elbow. Spins, turns, shoots, scores from 10 feet. Rui, a little jump stopped, and he spun, scored. Wizards within two, 101 99. You notice Quentin Jackson got that loose ball that led to that dunk. Pure desire. You know, and, and those are the things, the little things like that coaches like to see. You know, 50 50 balls. Right. Who's picking them up? Who's getting them? Who's at them first? So Hornets ball with 5.28 to go here in the third quarter. The fourth quarter, pardon me. All right. Fans enjoying, and I hope you are too. It's become a close game. Feel the energy here in this building. Book night. Top of the key. Foul line going downhill. Block. Block. Verdict. Gary Jr. Like the slot. That. In transition. Gill. Jackson. Right block. Hangs in the air. Banks. No. Gill muscles, fights for the rebound, flips it up, Vernon Carey. He gets a shot blocked by Kai Jones. His second effort is good. Vernon Carey Jr. would not be denied. We are tied at 101. Boy, I like that second effort. Coaches like Coach his Coach Speak. Second effort, guys. You need more of them, always. Crutcher out front for the Hornets, top of the arc. Rocking the cradle back and forth. Goes at Gill, down to the right block, and Gill got a piece of that, I believe. And a missed shot ricochets. Up court now, Quentin Jackson. Now front now, DeLon Wright. Wizards have tied it. Goodwin, left of the lane. Carey, hands back off to Goodwin. Now to Carey, left of the strict rock. Into the right corner, Gill. Eight second shot clock, right up front for three. It's there. Very nice. Oh, it's there. That ball touched everyone. And the Wizards have a three point lead, 104 101. Vernon Carey's impact on this game has been quick and efficient. Defensively, offensively, he set that whole play up with the penetration. Looked reversed. That ball swung around. Easy jump shot for the Wizards. Got ball movement, creates openings all the time. Vernon Carey making a difference. 104-101. Keep listening. That's what you like to hear. Back in a moment on the Washington Wizards Radio Network. The National Air Traffic Controllers Association are essential frontline aviation safety professionals who proudly work to oversee the busiest airspace in the world. Our nation's aviation system is an engine that drives our nation's economy. NACA safely guides people and cargo through the skies 24-7, 365. As air travel continues to grow, NACA is committed to your safety. Visit them at NATCA.org. NACA.org. NACA guides you home. The Wizards are back in action, and this season you can be back in the stands to experience it all live. Get verified tickets from Ticketmaster, the official marketplace of the NBA, and you won't miss a single epic moment. And rest assured, if your plans change, Ticketmaster has you covered, because selling your seats securely with Ticketmaster is as easy as a few taps. Get tickets now at Ticketmaster.com slash Wizards. Book night. Top of the game. Foul line going down. He'll block. Block. Vernon Carey Jr. Like to the that. slot. In transition. Gill. Jackson. Right block. Hangs in the air. Banks. No. Gill muscles. Fights for the rebound. Flips it up. Vernon Carey. He gets a shot blocked by Kai Jones. His second effort is good. Vernon Carey Jr. would not be denied. We are tied at 101. Boy, I like that second effort. Coaches like Coach his Coach Speak. Second effort, guys. You need more of them always. 
Our Capital One easiest decision of the game. You get your shot blocked, you put it back up. The easiest decision of the game brought to you by Capital One. Vernon Carey Jr., a big bucket for the Wizards. Says, yeah, I, I know, only preseason, but you feel it. You feel the energy in this building. Uh, you feel the energy from these two teams and the players, especially they're on the floor. Uh, they want to show something, uh, and I think about uh, not only what Vernon Carey is doing, but then you see a Quentin Jackson hustling down a, a loose ball. Uh, these guys are, are going to give it their all in their next 4 a team, which should produce an entertaining finish here yeah, in Charlotte. They want to make the team. They want to show the coaches that they could be that guy to do the little things. Vernon Carey is still a very young player for the Wizards. Get. Wizards have some young big guys like yep. Gafford and Vernon Carey. And well, that's right. You know, we have Marcin Gortat at halftime. Yep. Boy, the wisdom that he could pass on. He is a great example he is. Of, of how you can make it in the NBA if you just put in, I said just, like it's simple. It's not simple. But, but hard work is what got him the career he had in the NBA. And always figuring out a way, all right, how can I contribute? How can I help yeah. my team? Well, he, you know, he was always a, a very good rebounder, you know, one of the best screen setters. And, uh, you know, had that pick-and-roll game with, with John Wall that was so efficient. Well, that's what he talked about at halftime. It, it really, he decided with the Wizards he was going to be a screen setter because of John Wall and Bradley Beal. Yep. And uh, probably sacrificed some numbers. But well, they're a team. It's very much a team, guys. The game says, win, win one for the Zing Master. A Meister, pardon me. Here's that for Zingus, who's got 20 points from the first half. But we're crossing our fingers that his ankle sprain is not a severe one. On a night of ankle sprains, getting the mellow ball and Mason Plumley. Yeah. Not able to finish this game for the Hornets because of ankle sprains. No coach wants to see anybody go down in these games. No. Nope. Yeah. Want to try to get into the season healthy, healthy, healthy. as healthy as possible. You know, you're never 100, percent but it's full court pressure here applied by the Wizards. Jalen Cutshall picking up court. So uh, also coming in now for the they have a whistle as uh, on its turnover. So, turnover for the Hornets, another opportunity for the Wizards. Leangelo in now for the Hornets. Leangelo, Ball, played in Lithuania. Actually, older brother of Lamella Ball. Dotson is in for the Wizards. Out front, good one off a screen by Kerry Falline. Shoots, oh boy, he had a good luck. Ty Jones, a rebound, 3.50 to go. Now up toward JT Thor. Ball fake, drives on Gill, spins, underhand, no, and we've got a foul on Anthony Gill. As J.T. Thor, he's got yeah. those long legs as he gets in the paint. Put Gill in a compromising position. So now, we'll go to the line, trying to make it a one-point game. 104-101, Wizards, as Thor makes the first. Rui Hachimura, by the way who's not in the game right now. But he had a solid night, Dave. You know, 6 of 12. Didn't make any threes. He was 0 for 3, but got to the line four times. Both free throws made by J.T. Thorpe. All right, one-point game. 15 <laughs> points for Rui. All right, Dotson comes up court for the Wizards. Left wing outside the arc. Crossover drives. Left elbow feeds in the lane. Vernon Curry muscles at the top of the third arc. And one! And one! Vernon Curry Jr. Making He's a case. flexing and he should be. Making a case. Vernon Carey Jr. He has been a difference maker for the Wizards. In the, uh, I mean, he really was the forgotten player in all that trade activity yeah. last year. Of course, he came to the team not fully healthy. 6'9", 270. Makes the free throw, and now the Wizards are up by 5, 107, 102, with 3, 29 to go left here in the... Uh, Fourth quarter. The only Crutcher gives the book night at the point back to Crutcher. Crutcher now left elbow, edge in the paint, feeds Kai Jones, jump puck outside the restrict guard. Good defense by Vernon Carey, forced him away from the basket. Now driving and splitting the defenders was Quentin Jackson. He falls on the floor, trying to feed Dodson. 
And then one off Dotson, who was also on the floor. Wizards. Wizards will... <laughs> well, the, the, the PA announcer announced timeout Wizards. That stunned that West Huntsell Jr. It's Hornets ball. Left the circle. Pressure. 107 103 Wizards out front. Lanzo ball. In the right corner. Driving, banking, and scoring. Well, a nice finish by Lanzo ball. 107 105 the score. Fans love it here in Charlotte. Makes it a two point game. Now left the circle, Dodson. Lob deep underneath the gill, turns and scores. Caught that in the restricted arc. 109 105 Wizards, 232 to go. I like how Gill knows how to use his body offensively and defensively. There you saw him get the defense on his back the whole way as he posted up. Book Knight for three is in and out, and then Vernon carries skies and snares the rebound. Wizards lead by four with 217 to go. Goodman comes off a screen by Carey. Behind him, Quentin Jackson for three. It's there! Oh, it's there! <laughs> Quentin Jackson makes it 112 105. These this. are put me in coach moments. Right in the circle. Crutcher gives down a book night. Final two minutes here in Charlotte. Right wing outside the arc. Crutcher will pull back at Spectrum Center logo. Comes off a Kai Jones screen. Floats at the Jones slap. Wow. Two hands. Two points. That was impressive. Kai Jones scores. 112-107. Wizards lead. A minute 37 to go. Gill, hash mark left wing. Out front Dodson. Right wing Jackson. And he traveled as he went to try from the wing. Boy, he had an emphatic slam that he finished. But long before that, he was called for traveling. A minute 31 left. Five-point game. Wizards 112. I love it, though. Because, you know, Jackson makes that three. He's feeling it. He's feeling good. Go. Attack. You know, yep, I love that. All right, Hornets ball. Jalen Crutcher. Brought by Dotson. So crosses midcourt. Cuts to his left. Back to his right on the Jones screen. Foul line. Feeds in the lane. Intercepted by Vernon Carey Jr. Who gets up in the air to intercept it. Ends up on the deck. Like Vernon Carey. 110 left here in the fourth quarter. Wizards ball. Dotson off a carry screen. Foul line ball fake right side of the lane. Jumper good. A 12 footer right side of the lane by Dotson off a Vernon Carey Jr. screen. He had the steal. He's taking tickets here in Charlotte. 114 107. Wizards lead with a minute three left. And serving popcorn. Wow, he's doing everything. He really is. He really is. All right. Wizards with the lead. 114-107. We're back at 30 seconds on the Washington Wizards Radio Network. At CDW, we get your employees need their data to go where they go. That's why we started tattooing company data right on them. Ow. Now they have permanent access. Ouch. Well, at CDW, we can transform your data center painlessly. On-prem and in the cloud. With a Dell technology solution so your data isn't just available, it's powerful. Whew. I was about to get these Q4 financials tattooed on my neck. Close call. For technology that moves you forward, trust Dell Technologies and IT orchestration by CDW. People who get it. Learn more at cdw.com slash Dell Tech. Dave Johnson back with Wing Consort. Appreciate everybody finding us for the preseason. Is we got to get revved up for the regular season. at Dave J. Sports at Wing Consort. Give us your thoughts. And we would like to make this an interactive community. Well, I tell you what, active Vernon Carey Jr. Man, very impressive. Dave, you know, the difference maker in this comeback? Would you say? No question. He's only played, think about it, he's only played eight minutes. He's got five rebounds, and he's got seven points on three of five shooting, but it really doesn't even tell the story. He's active, blocking shots, doing everything. Crutcher to inbound the ball on the left sideline. Got a block shot and a steal in the eight minutes as well. Inbound now to JT Thor. Thor. Top of the arc, left elbow, feeds left corner Crutcher. 17 second shot clock. And what do we have here? Right in front of the Wizards bench. Might have a foul. Did you see the call? I know. Foul. Good one, good one. Yeah. Yeah. Scrappy. All right, Crutcher left sideline. Lob out front to Kai Jones, edge of the circle. 54 seconds up the game. Wizards by seven. J.T. Thor at the point, hands off the Crutcher. Crutcher 
Bounce pass Thor, left wing outside the arc for three. That's no good. And getting the rebound, Jordan Goodwin. 43 seconds left. Wizards looking to get their first preseason win. 114-107 they lead. Anthony Gill, hash mark in the left wing. Out front, Dodson. Dodson drives, throws right corner. Goodwin hands off out front, Vernon Carey. Carey right at the top of the key. Five on the clock. Quinton Jackson right of the circle. Two seconds. Foul line. He's running in the lane. Is good. Nice. Quinton Jackson throws it up and scores. 116-107. Well, Quinton Jackson's had a big three. That was a big runner in the lane. Tell you what was nice about that. Clock recognition. Coaches like to see that as well. Smart play by Jackson. Knew exactly how much time was left. Threw up the floater and made it. And people are leaving. They are leaving, but you stay. We also have a post-game show tonight. And Brian Alvin will join us for that. 116-107. But you have to like just the effort and tenacious play yeah. of a, a you know Jordan Goodwin's another one you talked to, about him being he's like been him. scrappy yeah. yeah Jordan Goodwin Dave played 20 minutes he's got five rebounds I like guards that rebound yeah we, we've got the open practice tomorrow as uh, five o'clock at Capital One Arena love to see you there first 500 fans uh, special gift so get there early it's a, a classic edition t-shirt and that's a real opp- great opportunity to get us set for the season. As uh, somebody just tweeted out, Nick, that the Wizards are undefeated on American soil in this season. If, if, if they are able to pull this out, 20.5 seconds left. Wizards lead 116-107. All right. Left sideline. Jalen Pletcher in by the ball. Hornets working right to left. Fletcher gets the ball. Out front to Book Knight. Edge of the circle. Book Knight. Top of the arc. Feeds Fletcher on the left wing, and it goes by him. Is that, it was a timeout, and that play went nowhere. 12.2 seconds left in the game. The Wizards, I think they are going to win this one. 116-107. They lead as Dotson comes up court. Wizards will not shoot it, and they will win it. They will win it. Wizards 116 107. They get their first preseason win after two losses in Japan to the Warriors. Quite a ride we were yeah. on tonight, as Tell you what, it was, uh, you know, tale of a bunch of quarters. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you got to give the, this, you know, these, these hungry players, some of them are go go guys that, you know, are, are willing to do whatever it takes to contribute and that's exactly what we saw contribution from guys that don't have a lot of minutes and uh, to make basketball plays to help win this game 116 107 wizards get the win tonight we uh, i think are going to have a post game guest here uh, this might be vernon curry jr uh, might be joining us i think he is as uh, putting on the headset and uh, we see him up there, or we see him down there. And yeah, we're waving. We, we got you got you got us, Vernon. Yeah, I got you. Hey, listen, we appreciate the the time, and just give us your thoughts on on the team's performance uh, tonight. Is uh, a, a scrappy way to pull this one out here in Charlotte. Yeah, um, you know, just staying with it. Um, it's preseason, so we're just getting everything together. Really, uh, our whole team getting everything out, uh, all the nerves, everything. So. I mean, we got one more piece of the game until everything starts for real. So, I mean, just got to take it day by day. And, yeah, I think we're doing good right now. Vernon, your approach to this game, I mean, you came in and really were a big factor in a short period of time. You only played nine minutes, mm-hmm. but defensively you were there. You were blocking shots. You were rebounding. And talk a little bit about what your goal was coming into a game like this. Yeah, I mean, um, when I knew uh, when KP got hurt, uh, I probably knew I was probably about to go in uh, second half. So um, just bring just whatever the team needs me to do, uh, bring it. Really. What What do you like most about the the way this team is handled this uh, this this preseason? What What really gives you a good feeling about the way this team is coming together? Um, I feel like we all we all get along, man. Um, none of, None of us have uh, have any beef or anything like that. So I mean, our chemistry is getting there. I mean. We got some new guys like Monte, uh, Will, DeLon. So, I mean, we're just trying to get used to them. 
and incorporate incorporate them to our team. So I feel like we're getting used to them. Well, Vernon, you gave us a great thrill tonight and put on a great show. Go enjoy this one. We'll see you on the plane. Thank you, man. Vernon Carey Jr. joining us. 116-107. Wizards win. We're not done. Uh, but Vernon Carey Jr., boy, nine minutes, seven points, five rebounds. Uh, he was all over the place doing things tonight. Back to get you set for a post-game show. Brian Alvin's going to join us. He'll let you know what else is going on. Back in a moment, you're listening to the Washington Wizards Radio Network.